everyone. It's been quite some time since I last filmed a practice vlog and the biggest reason for that is that during the last autumn term I was working on the same classical pieces. Most of the time I had one new thing but it wouldn't have been a very interesting vlog. Fucking Finlandia, I can't believe I actually played that. <laughs> during the spring term my school life got a bit out of hand because I was doing my bachelor thesis and I had like eight courses going on so I was like constantly doing stuff and now I'm just kind of like in a bit of a slump where I haven't been doing much anything to be honest. I've been cleaning my room but that's basically it <laughs> ever since school that's all. Now I'm finally getting out of that slump and I have three pieces for this summer. Uh, the first is Claire de Lune by Debussy and it's a lovely little piece, probably known by everyone. And yeah, the biggest problem I have with this is the time, because 9 8 isn't really the easiest thing to work with. And the second thing I'm working on is Glinkas de Lark. Um, it's a lovely, lovely little piece. Kind of easier with its rhythmic patterns, but holy fucking shit, do you have a lot of arpeggios and runs, and there's a lot of things to check on with the fingering. So that's a thing I have to worry about. Some later time, I have like two, maybe three pages going on right now, and it's seven pages in total. So not too bad. The first two pages. Third page is kind of like, yeah, it's starting to get a little bit hard and then the four to seven are just like, kill me now. So that's going on for me. And the final pieces I have going on is Oscar Merikanto's uh, Kesäilta. Uh, lovely little waltz. I played the easier version this spring and it was fun. And now I just thought, hey, why not go the, for the very very hard version and just it's long, it has a lot of going on, but the melody is so lovely, I'm working on it for that reason. But yeah, I'll just change the camera angle and then we'll start. So here we are looking in with some Debussy and keep in mind that this is a very very tough thing to count for and I may actually count aloud just to keep my head in the rhythm. And also the fact that I haven't really gotten further than two pages and now I'm just kind of stumbling through the third page show. It's very much a work in progress, all of these pieces are. They are all quite new to me, so let's just begin.
I'm basically this is how far I've gotten so far. Um, I know it sounds kind of shitty at parts, but just keep in mind that this last page is quite new for me. And even though I've worked on these first two pages for quite some time, so before the part, um, they still are kind of hard to count for and there's still so much to read for, even though I've written out some markings for myself, like main chords and stuff like that. It is so, so heavy, text heavy right now. And yeah, this is going to be quite a challenge to get even to the correct tempo, even though, yeah, Andrade Tre is expressive means that I can play just as fucking slow as I want to because it's impressionism. That's a great thing about impressionists. Um, I think I'll work on some of the parts again. And this time with a metronome. Ain't no way I'm gonna get this right without a metronome. is that even though you should practice with a metronome some pieces it is impossible because there is this second page begins with tempo rubato which is like that and the thing is it is very very expressive and what my uh, teacher told me that I should think about these um, polyrhythms. So you count three here, but in these polyrhythms you count two, two. It's kind of a difficult thing to explain, but that's the basic idea for it. And I see use them quite a lot. It's more like slowing down instead of a polyrhythm. So it's not that accurate if you get catch my drift. So. That's the main problem here. It's even though you try to practice with a metronome, your own ear tells you that there should be more changes going on. So I'm still kind of lost with how I'm supposed to work on this. But maybe I'll try the next page without a metronome. Because it would be impossible to even try for at this point.
And a second thing, the clusters are so heavy that you have to read how the how they change. Here again, I think I'll use the metronome. Maybe up just a tiny bit slower. So as you see, I, I'll just sometimes drop the left hand just to get the rhythmic patterns right. But I think this will be quite enough of Debussy for today. Even though the next songs will be much easier rhythmic wise, they aren't really easier, at least. Klinka here.
this is how far I've gotten so far. And as you noticed, it already is kind of a lot to read, even in here, even though I'm playing quite slowly and I've done my markings. It's very, very filled with text, as you can probably see. And especially this little funny running part. This is basically just one bar here. <clears throat> Which is kind of impossible to play. If you've ever heard any recordings of this, I believe Yevgeny Gessin's version is one of the best, if not the best. Um, but basically, it continues with those really, really long, long runnings. And it's going to be a lot of work to get functioning, like even this part. like. very long, it's gonna be a lot of runs and a lot of arpeggios, but it's such a lovely little song and it probably is going to take me at least until Christmas to get it going, like probably I might get this first part before the... That is going to be like maybe a few weeks of playing and then beginning from this until the first run is maybe going to be uh, a month or so until it's in tempo and with no mistakes if I keep working on it. I don't really want to work on this too much because I've just gotten out of that slump and this was the one piece that got me out of it so I'm kind of being careful with this so I keep doing it but not too much. I'll continue with my lovely, lovely Merikondo. It's gonna be like the previous version I played was in A minor and this one is in D minor. So it's kind of like having to think all of it again through and especially with you have octaves here and in the first one I didn't have and some small changes to the melody but I'll figure it out. I haven't really gotten it through just with one session going so I'll just do this slower working
as you can probably tell, this isn't the easiest. Like, you have these big octaves on the right hand, and you have a lot of movement going on with the left hand. Um, I mean, basically, it's a very simple waltz kind of chord. As you have these octaves, and then you have the actual chord, it kind of makes it a bit of a difficult thing to read when you're practicing. But uh, I'll figure it out sooner or later. And yeah, I think I'll work on some pop music now and I'll see you soon. So, this was my practice session. I've got stuff coming soon-ish, hopefully. Depends on how much motivation I get for actually playing those things and how much time I have, because even it seems like suddenly things are starting to pop up during the summer. I was supposed to just lay on the fucking couch for, I don't know, two months and then go back to school for another of those killer years, but yeah, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm working on new stuff. Hopefully I'll upload some covers soon enough. I'll see you next time. Bye.